Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Nexus One rooted with the MyUI Chinese based ROM. Well, today I just installed Rodriguez Styles MyUI Mod version 1. It's based off the same thing, but it has a few more tweaks and uh, most of it is translated into English. So let's go ahead and have a little quick run through with that. Alright, so this is your lock screen. It has three lock screens available. You can either if you have a missed call or something, you can uh, swipe up using the call button and it goes straight to your calls. Or swipe this, it'll go to your messages. Or swipe the middle and go. it should go to the main screen <laughs> launcher. So, it is a Chinese based ROM. There is still parts uh, Chinese that are still in here like uh, uh, I guess this thing it's a little app folder there's a whole bunch of dev tools Rodriguez has installed and let's close that it's very smooth scrolling and uh, this UI is um, really looks and functions just like the iPhone um, all your apps are just on the screen there is no app launcher or anything like that um, so all your apps are just all here market is right there there's one two three four five home screens on this um, Rodriguez just implemented a lot of Sanogen mod into it like the torch on LED works let's turn that off and uh, speed test and uh, Wi-Fi is connected up there so where's let's go to the web I'm on a weak Wi-Fi connection right here so might be a little slow or not pages render pretty quickly actually alright so uh, let's go to the dialer it's uh, it's all the standard uh, my UI ROM still it just uh, looks a little bit better, has more functionality with the uh, Rodriguez tweaking it and uh, he added all these applications in it. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna add a widget. <laughs> so, the way widgets are added onto the home screen, there are three icons. If you hold your finger down, three icons up at the top will pop up. There's a wallpaper, a recycling bin, where you just drag a thing right there and you just throw it into the trash can. It does not uninstall the application if you throw it in the trash can. Um, and then there's this little cube thing. Cube, press the cube thing and you get all these widgets. And drag widget to desired location. Um, I do apologize for video quality. Um, my camera is somewhere not found, can't find it. But anyways, you just click and drag one onto any of these home screens. And you just slide this home screen to change whichever home screen you want to drag the widget into. Or you just grab this one and you just throw it in there. Um, it's a very intuitive um, widget screen. It's it's nothing like Android's ever seen before, and I commend the Chinese developers for creating this thing. It's really amazing how they did it. Um, it's a little Android helper. Hold your finger down. Let's see. It's a little recycling bin up at the top and clock. Standard Android alarm clock settings about this phone. It is Android 2.2 based. Now, let's see, what did he add? Alright, so there is HD video recording, and uh, there's a uh, it's overall a bit more stable um, since it's been translated so whoever uh, this is an English build um, he doesn't have any plans for translating into any other languages 
Um, but if you're an English speaker, this will be a great ROM to run. Everyday usage, easy to use, very fast, almost no lag. Um, I haven't signed into my Google account yet, but it's Android 2.2 based and it works. And let's see, messages. I guess it has the Android type of keyboard instead of uh, in the previous video they had a different layout for the video for messaging. Um, let's see. And uh, I'm just going to cut this video really short. Um, if you're really interested in how it really runs, I would recommend watching my other video of my UI point nine point something don't remember it so um, this is just the English mod for it and this just has a lot more Android applications installed so go ahead and check this ROM out if you're interested um, just flash it easy flash just make sure you do an Android before you do it and that's pretty much it please subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest updates on the Nexus one and the vibrant